Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. That's it? That's the voice? Anyways, the answer is the answer is no, probably not. Probably not. That's that's like he probably didn't get Apu, right? So the reason Apu was uh the reason I say like did Mario get Apu is because Apu from The Simpsons was removed from the show for being a stereotype and being and having a, a exaggerated accent, and that is sad. Well, the re the reason was also because people were getting bull bullied supposedly, but like also what a lazy bully to say oh you're a, you're Apu, and also that documentary was kind of one sided. It didn't really debate anything. It just said hey Apu's bad, please remove him. And then like nobody else said, hey, I don't think Apu's that bad. It was just, it was just like interviews of like people just agreeing with this guy who did the documentary, which is like, it's, it's fair, right? It's fair for people to want a character removed that makes them feel bad. That's a fair take. But like, I don't think he was racist or stere like what was stereotypical about Apu? You know, like what his accent that's it. and he like his religion that's it and oh he worked at a quick mart he owned it though it wasn't like he he didn't work as just the the freaking the cashier the clerk he owned it he had there was so like the surface like looking at the surface of apu like that's a shallow thing to like to like remove a character just because like oh they do this they do this they do this it's so stereotypical like like Apu was an actual character on the show you know there was so much more to him the people like only look at the surface and be like whoa wow this is so racist uh, <laughs> like anyways the point is uh Hank Azaria stepped down from the role of Apu because of the documentary or because people were uh, lashing out saying, whoa, you need to remove this stereotype. Funny enough, the Mexican bee is still on the show. And like, like that's a stereotype too, but you know, we don't complain like that. Uh, <laughs> um, the point is, yeah, Hank and Zarian, uh, like stepped down from the role because he was a white guy voicing uh, a, a person of color. And he didn't like that. Even Cleveland Brown's voice, I think, stepped down because he was a white guy doing a black guy's voice, which is so. Oh, sorry, he was a white guy doing a person of color's voice, which is so like. Who cares? That's the whole point of voice acting, is that you don't get typecast. <laughs> that's that's kind of the whole you know thing, but, and also the point of cartoons is that they're exaggerated, so stereotypes don't matter because everything is exaggerated. Even like the white stereotypes are exaggerated. So like, whatever, that's not the point. The point is actors are scared to do an Italian voice probably in my mind because they, they might get canceled. <laughs> and so they don't try it. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're, they're, they, might, they might be scared to do the Italian voice because they're, they're fearful that they'll get backlash and get canceled over it and then have to like step down or whatever but like or they might it might be hard for them to find work afterwards like Hank Azarian I don't know how like if he still is on the Simpsons he's probably he probably is maybe I don't know uh but I know that the guy who does Cleveland Brown's voice is probably not still on Family Guy I'm not sure he might still be I don't I don't know But like, when you look at the Mario cast, Bowser, Peach, the minions, uh, obviously not the minions, Bowser's minions, uh, uh, the toads, like <laughs> even Peach is kind of iffy because she does talk sometimes, but for the most part, any character in Mario that doesn't really talk, it made sense for them to cast someone right to get jack black to play bowser like what what a great idea you know that he fits he's a big personality he fits the character super well uh it, it's just, it was just a great freaking idea and as for as far as the toads go like we don't we don't know who voices all the toads right because there's so many 
like I'm sure Keegan Michael Key, the guy voicing Main Toad, you know, like we ha we only heard a little bit of how he talked, and it's giving me very much Super Show vibes, like Super Show vibes because of the Brooklyn accent, because of the the way Toad kind of sounds. Um. Yeah, now, now that I think about it, it is more, it, it feels a lot more like Super Shell than it does any of the video games. Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it, like, I'm sure uh, Keegan Michael Key, like, his performance is probably fine. Uh, the minions already sound good. Uh, I really wish I had another name for them <laughs> than the minions because I don't like calling them the minions. Because those other minions are so annoying. I don't want to call them minions. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we still have to hear a bunch of uh, a bunch of takes on characters. It just like, and yeah, what I was saying is what was that it makes sense for the characters that have never had a voice to be cast, you know, like Bowser, the the grunts, the uh, the toads, because what's toads voice? Like who cares? <laughs> like, you could just you could literally cast anybody and they would be a better Toad voice, right? <clears throat> but um, when it comes to Mario and Luigi and even Peach to a certain extent, because she has spoken a fair amount in the games, it feels like it feels weird for new people to voice those characters. And when I say new people, I mean people who like are in normal movies for them to just appear in a video game movie it's strange but i understand it you know they think they nintendo for whatever reason thought we need to get a big hollywood star to voice mario so that people want to watch the movie but it doesn't make any sense because it's like you look at SpongeBob, another character that is super nostalgic, who has been successful in movies. He's 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 still voiced by Tom Kenny in the movies. So it doesn't make any sense for like for Nintendo to think, "Oh, nostalgia isn't enough to get people in the seats." You know, Mario has to, can't be voiced by the guy who's always voiced him. And I know like that's a stretch to say that the guy that's always voiced him because Mario has had other iterations and in, in cartoons and stuff, but the most iconic one without a doubt is Charles Martinet. So like for, for Nintendo to suddenly decide that Charles, like that they need someone who is like doing big things in Hollywood right now like Jurassic Park and all this that they have to be involved with Mario because otherwise people won't show up first of all children don't care who voices Mario for the most because you're like if you're aiming this this at children no, none of them know who Chris Pratt is like if you say oh the guy from Jurassic Park they're still not gonna know they're gonna be like uh who I'm 10 I don't care about Jurassic Park that much uh, or, or if you tell them, oh, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy isn't aimed at kids. <laughs> like, maybe a kid has seen Infinity War or Endgame, maybe. But, like, I, like they probably don't even remember Star-Lord. <laughs> like, these movies aren't aimed at, like, kids. I know a lot of people think that's the case, but the people taking kids to these movies are usually adults who have super hard nostalgia for Mario or adults who need a break from their kid, right? And the adults who need a break from the kid don't care who Mario's voice, who, who Mario's voiced by. They only care, they just want a break from their kid for like two or, a, or an hour and a half of movie, you know? And the people who are taking their kids to watch based off nostalgia probably want to hear Charles Martinet, right? But I'm sure that like there are people who are like, well, I'm, I don't want to hear Charles Martinet for like an hour and a half talk as Mario, even though 
like why not <laughs> uh and wanted a, a different take on mario like you hear chris like you heard his take it's just him doing a it's just the most normal sounding dude <laughs> saying mushroom kingdom here we come and it's just like you 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 could have you could have done so much different <laughs> you could have done at least a little bit of, of an italian accent like i i don't know if he's just scared to get canceled on twitter because oh you did a an exaggerated italian accent in a cartoon even though literally that's all cartoons are is everything's exaggerated and every character has to have a big personality that's what makes them a cartoon <laughs> but whatever that's not the point <laughs> the point is jack black did an amazing goddamn job as bowser like 10 out of 10 performance like holy moly dude keegan michael key from what we've heard like it's it's fine it's suitable uh the the grunts the little villains that follow Bowser around are, sound fine even uh magic koopa sounded pretty good i like i actually like the voice they gave him um the penguins sound hilarious is just mario it's only mario you know the main character the guy who's who's on the freaking whose name is on the fucking brand <laughs> it's it's just him that sounds so off and if i'm being honest it is because it is because mario's the only character that really ever talks in mario game so like when we hear the total difference in voices it's just like night and day like who is this who is this guy who's wearing red uh a red shirt and a hat and blue overalls who's pretending to be mario like because bowser doesn't talk often he's talking sunshine that's it <laughs> because bowser's only ever had like one voice well if you count the super show then two voices maybe even more i don't know how many cartoon iterations of bowser there are but because of that it's so easy to accept jack black as bowser not like not only does the voice fit well but because no other voice has like really ever come out of bowser's mouth it's just like yeah that's him you know and when, when it comes to toad it's like you could have done basically any voice and people would have been like yeah okay <laughs> uh we haven't heard peach and we haven't heard dk yet but i'm sure though i mean i don't know about tk dk but i'm sure peach will sound fine um and the penguins fine like you're they're they're throwaway characters i'm sure so like like it's it's great that those voices suit them pretty well and they're like they're they're pretty like the voice is so big that the fact that it's in a penguin is like it makes it funny so it's like it's great which is the whole point of you know voice acting is the, in the cartoon is that characters are exaggerated so a character sounding way different than they should you know it's it's, it's it fits because it's a it's a cartoon <laughs> uh, uh but charlie day i'm sure it's just gonna sound like charlie day doing a slight brooklyn accent unless if, if, if it if he doesn't sound like just Charlie Day doing a Brooklyn accent. Oh. I will be shocked. I will be actually impressed. Um, and someone did say something about, uh, like, uh, Mario sounds exactly how I thought he would sound after this, like, big pull, like this this casting stunt, which is to say that like, of course Chris Pratt sounds like Chris Pratt as Mario because that's the whole point is that it's chris pratt as mario which is like it's a good point but also like i said before kids like the the the, the demographic that this is going towards they don't care that chris pratt is voicing mario <laughs> like you're, you're like the reason the pokemon movie did so well is because of nostalgia right it's not because ryan reynolds was pikachu that's not that wasn't the reason it did well like I'm sure it helps that he's in the movie, like actually in the movie, not just like oh spoilers for Detective Pikachu. Ryan Reynolds actually shows up at the end. <laughs> but like, I'm sure that like 
Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu wasn't the main draw. It was because people wanted to see Pokemon in theaters, like actually like since the original movie came out, Pokemon 2000 or whatever. This is the first like actual Pokemon movie in like forever. So people want to see it because nostalgia. They want to take their kids to see it because it's like, well, I, I grew up with Pokemon. I'm gonna, I want to show my kid what Pokemon is. And so like, that's that, the fact that Nintendo got like pulled out the fact that people went because of a big star is sad because that's not, that wasn't the main draw. And like I said, like SpongeBob did so well and they didn't need to do a, a, a gigantic, oh, I'm casting uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson to play Squidward. Like what? <laughs> you know, like, could you imagine like, uh, whatever. I made my point and I'm, I'm, I'm sticking to it for the most part. It's just that Mario sounding like Chris Pratt with a Brooklyn accent is very jarring. I'm sure people are going to go watch the movie because it looks amazing, right? The, it, like the animation just looks so beautiful. I'm sure the story is going to be fine, right? Because it like, what story does a Mario game have, right? Like, I'm sure the story is going to be better than any Mario game. But like, I'm sure people are going to enjoy the movie, which is fine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't enjoy the movie. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm just saying that it's sad that people, that companies think that you need to cast a famous person. Like, like I'm saying that it's sad that companies think that they need to take roles away from the people who have established the characters uh, and give them to celebrities. It, th that, that really is what like makes me sad, right? Because if, if they did this to, to like, they did this to Sonic, right? Like Roger Craig Smith for the longest time was Sonic, but uh, like Sonic has had so many voices that like people were just, were fine with it when it was like given to Ben Schwartz, which is like, I'm going to be honest. I was fine with it too, because I was like, well, Sonic has had so many voices. Like this is like, this would just be a different iteration of Sonic. But like if, if Mickey, if Mickey suddenly was played by like someone else and did a t like by an actual famous person, instead of like a regular voice actor who like the, the, the voice of Mickey right now, Cause I don't know how long Mickey's been around, right? So like, I don't know if their, their VA is still their original voice actor. Well, the original voice actor was Walt Disney, right? But like whoever's playing Mickey right now, if they got replaced by like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know a lot of famous people. Uh, uh, they got replaced by uh, Vin Diesel. If Vin Diesel was suddenly Mickey Mouse, people would be like, why? I mean, people would be curious to hear the, the voice, but when they, like, if it was just Vin Diesel doing a, like, a, 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 a Brooklyn accent, <laughs> people would be like, what? <laughs> like, like, this sounds so bad. Why does Mickey sound like he's from Brooklyn for some reason? But that's, that's, that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to to say about this whole thing is that I'm sure the movie will do fine. Mario sounding like Chris Pratt is such a publicity stunt that, that I just, I just will never be able to get behind. Um, so will I go see the movie? Probably not. Uh, will I like wait for it to come out on like a streaming service or like buy the dvd or something may, uh, not dvd the blu-ray or something like sure maybe i just i just i'm just so like i don't know <laughs> it's not to say that the like the people who worked on the movie like well, shame on you like no like i don't know whatever the point is mario sounds weird um they should have just let charles martinet do the voice um 
and yeah uh wario and waluigi for the sequel let's go <laughs> uh please like uh, enjoy the movie that's all i have to say about that at this point just enjoy the movie um if you're going you know i, I don't i don't i can't control you I, if you're going to watch the movie then you know have fun if you're not then you know whatever 